Hey guys, B Gamer here, and I'm going to do a video on how to install TWRP and make a backup of your phone on the LG Vault. Uh, if you're watching this in regards to a different phone, same process should work, but you will need to go find files that match your phone. All right. So first thing you're going to need to do is download TWRP. which can be obtained for the vault anyway from here it's on Android file host and you'll just want to come down here and download it and download it straight onto your phone it's going to need to be on there to uh, get installed anyway I've already got it downloaded, so I won't download it again. The other thing you'll need to do is install kernel editor, or however you pronounce it. I think that's about it. It's on the Play Store. This is what it looks like. Again, I've already got it installed, so I won't be downloading it in this video. Once you get those two installed, You'll want to come into Kernel Editor, open up the menu, scroll down here to backup, hit the little plus, and go ahead and make a backup of your stock recovery first. Hit the backup, and then hit recovery. Give it a name like Stock recovery or stock recov or whatever, whatever you want to name it so you know what it is, hit OK. And it will only take a second, make a backup. Then on the same screen, don't go anywhere, just hit flash image, find where you have the TWRP Volt image downloaded, select it, say yes. You are going to be installing it as recovery. And you know, make sure it's got recovery in the overwrite prompt, say yes. And it's installed. From there, you're going to need to boot into recovery. If you're already rooted and you have, a, you can install Exposed Framework and from there you can install a program that will let you have in your power menu a option to boot directly into recovery. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to boot into it manually for those that don't have that installed yet and so they can see it is i would recommend getting that set up and i can do a video on that as well uh it seems to boot into it faster if you do it that way the manual way it takes about a minute for it to load but we'll go ahead and turn off and i will see you on the other camera to boot into recovery all right, so with your uh, phone turned off, you're going to want to hold volume down and power together. And keep holding it until you see the factory reset processing come up. And then let go. And 
and just wait. You should end up on a screen like this. To make it back up, we're going to go back up. Make sure these three items are checked. You're also going to want to enable compression. And you tap here, it will let you choose between internal and external storage. Odds are internal storage, unless you've just done a fresh install, is not going to have enough space for any backup, compressed or not. So external storage, hit OK, and swipe to start the backup. This will take possibly up to 10 minutes, depending on the speed of your SD card and how much data is on your phone. Now this will only back up the system data, uh, internal application data, and the kernel. It will not back up any of your stuff that you've put on the phone. You'll lose any pictures or videos or MP3s if you were to wipe the phone and install this back up. And the apps you have installed will be fine. You might lose some data on those, anything that it saved to the internal data. Or anything that anything that's external saved on in user space will not be backed up. And that's all there is to it. Once this is done, which I'll skip ahead here in a second, you will need to reboot back into normal operation. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to store your backup on your computer, like copy it over just for redundancy. Otherwise, if you've got room on your SD card for it, you can keep it on the phone so it's right there and ready if something goes horribly wrong and you can't get to your computer. Alright, so our backup is completed. It shows you how long it took. I have a lot of stuff on my phone that took quite a while. But once you're at this point, you can just hit reboot system and reboot your phone. But first, I'm going to go back and show you a few things in the recovery. So you hit back, back, go back to the screen. If you're going to install, you can use that to install zip files update zips or images from recovery and go back from there this will let you do factory reset or if you go into advanced you can wipe literally everything on the phone. Restore will show you all your current backups. You can pick one and restore it. And say you messed up installing a kernel, uh, you can just go to this and uncheck system and data and just install boot and that will restore the kernel from the backup. Uh, mount will let you mount various partitions and mount USB storage so you can access the stuff on the computer. Advanced has uh, ADB side loading 
a terminal with some basic command functions. Uh, you, you can theme this recovery if you want. Uh, I haven't messed with that. I didn't really see the need. You're only in it once in a while. And then you're, you know, trying to accomplish something, not look at how pretty it is. Uh, it's got a file manager, so if you've put something in the wrong place, you can fix it through here. Uh, it's got an SD card partition. I haven't messed with that at all. But that's there. I don't know if that will help with uh, setting up your SD card for something like Link to, XD, Link to SD. Uh, there's also settings where you can set the time zone, uh, turn down the screen brightness, adjust the vibra screen vibration, and you know, 24 hour clock, you can tell it to skip uh, making MD5s or verifying MD5s, which I would not suggest turning either of those off. Uh, same with zip file signature verification. Those are all important to make sure you're not installing something that's corrupted. But once you get done in here, uh, you, like you said, there's the reboot on the backup menu. You can go in here, and this will let you reboot into the system. Just turn the phone off or boot back into recovery, I guess, for if you like installed a theme and it, you need to reboot to get it to show up. But we're just going to reboot into system. And that's a cat. Cat, stop. And that's it. You now have a custom recovery installed and a backup. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, if you have any questions, ask in the comments below. If there's anything else you want to see, leave a comment. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, hit like, subscribe, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys.